Hello and welcome back to Zambo Stop Moves. I'm going to show you um, a little chicken coop I built. It's all built <clears throat> out of balsa wood and uh, wood I cut myself. I mean, you can see there I have a little man and some things out front. But we're going to take a closer look. So let's get right into it. I started with the walls first and the roof does come off. You can see for the walls I just uh, had some wood and I cut some balsa wood for it and... And you can get in there and see the windows. I just used a piece of plastic I cut over. And then I actually glued some wood to the plastic. Um, just like that. You come out front here. I'd like to show you around the edges. I have um, little wood as the perimeter. And I put um, darker paint down the bottom to assimilate mud. I want it to look a little bit worn down yet very kicking, taken care of at the same time. This is the back. I have two windows there to keep the lights for the chickens. This is going to be put on my new display. Um, we could around front. I have some shingles. And for the windows here, you can also see I took some, um, it's like some sort of wedding thing. Um, uh, I don't know what it's called now, but it I spray painted it uh, silver and it works great as a window. You can then see I have a little chicken catcher, and for the door, I have little uh, paper hinges actually that can open it up so you can see in. I have a little knob there made out of wood and a little sign that says happy hens. That's about all. I had a piece of cardboard for the bottom, and if we take a peek inside, I just did one little detail of the egg um, uh, nesting area, and then I, put, I shaved down some... Uh, bale twine and threw it in there as their bedding So when it's sitting on the display You can open the door and see in and then see some of the stuff I want how some chickens sit in the door. So it'll look um, Like it's meant to be so I thought it was a pretty great little piece. I uh, did there as a little dude That's one thing that's not so great. Um, his legs are kind of a mess. He needs some painting um better painting done there, uh, but it looks pretty to scale to me. For the roof, the roof was actually the most time consuming. It's probably only about, well, I can measure it here. It's about three inches by two and a half inches. So it is pretty small, but you can see it looks like shingles when we get up close there. And I really just wanted to go for a look like this. So I got some uh, black construction paper, cut it all to size, and, yep, I glued it down individually, one by one. And then I spray painted it black just to kind of blend it in. And it looks pretty nice on the chicken coop. Um, it's gonna, it looks a little strange out in the middle of a field here, like I have it. But I will put it in, um, some grass and some weeds up grown, grown up around it. I would like to, um, have some static grass around it. And obviously I need chickens. I'm going to do a different video on that because I want a variety of like brown chickens. And I couldn't find any. So I'm going to have to look for that. Let me talk about the chicken catcher. You might not see those around much. Um, the top part's the handle and the bottom part. You actually chase them around and you get their leg. Um, pull around their leg and you pull them up upside down. It doesn't hurt them at all. Uh, chickens can be very hard to catch sometimes and they're very stupid so... If you don't have your little pet chickens. So right there I um that's another piece of like chicken wire I rolled up with that wedding uh stuff. It, it's originally white, but that's how that goes. It's very simple, so I didn't really need to show you how to build it. In the future I will be showing uh barn building videos. I would like to anyways, so make sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe. And check out Hedgedale Farms, which is my other YouTube channel. You can go into my channel and then hit channels and then it will be under there somewhere and there i don't post very often i would like to get to posting more um but if you wait a little bit hopefully this summer i'll have a video of our real chicken coop and some of what we do to keep our chickens laying good that's all for me make sure to like subscribe share and thanks for stopping by